Good evening once again from Horst Athletic Center. The men take center stage now as the Chargers host Gaudet. Lancaster rival three and three overall, two and zero in conference play. The Bison got their first win the other day as they defeated Penn State Berks in double overtime. They are one and six overall and one and one in conference play. I am joined by Rod Bachman. Rod, the men have won two in a row, looking to make it three straight. What do they need to do tonight? Yeah, a couple things I think are going to be key for them tonight. And one is playing inside out. Uh, they shoot the ball much better when the ball touches the post first. And then we'll see a lot of uh, Quinton Davis tonight. He's not in the starting lineup, but we expect to see him uh, as the game goes on. We're going to have to contain penetration defensively and, and try to keep him out of the bonus and off the free throw line, earning easy points. If they do that, I think we got a good shot tonight. Chargers defeated Gaidet twice last season, but only by a combined 11 points in the two games. Set to go here from Morris Athletic Center. Bison in their navy blue road uniforms. Chargers in their home grays. We are underway. Gaidet will begin with the ball. Number three, Dylan Sicoli. Around for Noah Valencia. Over 20 points in both games last season against the Chargers. Scored his 1,000th point of his collegiate career against Burks in the victory the other day. 27th player in program history. Congratulations to him. Inside to Steve Valencia, Biscupiak, and lays it in for two. See some early full court pressure by Gallaudet, handled pretty easily by the Chargers. Jordan Shoebridge, corner three-pointer, no good. Rebound taken there by number 30, Jamal Garner. Sicoli quickly up the floor. He'll take the deep three-pointer. No good. Rebound taken by Britton Beachy. Beachy, 20 points, nine rebounds, nine assists in the victory over previously unbeaten St. Elizabeth on Saturday afternoon here at the Hack. Yeah, he did a little bit of everything here on Saturday. Isaac Beers, your brother Luke there in the corner. They'll play catch one more time. Around for Shoebridge. Deep three-pointer, no good. Rebound taken there by Sicoli. Quickly up the floor for Valencia. He'll shoot from anywhere. Three-pointer here. No good. Rebound taken there by Alex Witt. Beachy will come up the floor methodically here for the Chargers as he, as he listens to the play from head coach Andrew Wingreen. Pass deflected off the fingertips there of Isaac Beers, not a play. You're not kidding about Valencia with the, with the range. He's got the old Reggie Miller in the gym range kind of uh, mentality. Sicoli met there at half court by Shoebridge. Valencia once again. Inside to Biskupiak, no good. Shakes his head as he comes down the floor. Sorry, Rob. Yeah, that's all right. The Chargers are gonna have to look at what they're doing with that, that high ball screen big to guard is creating a little bit of mismatch uh, with the big fella having to be guarded by Britton Beachy on the block. Uh, they're going to have to look at maybe uh, hedging on that a little bit. Beers with it looking inside for Witt. Little hesitation. It's blocked by Biskupiak. Out of play. Biskup uh, Valencia Biskupiak listed at 6'8". That's a long 6'8". It is long too. Like uh, He's probably that tall, but those arms, that's quite a wingspan. Gets another one there. Deflects that out of play. Junior is Valencia with Biskupiak from Riverside, California. Inbounds pass to Luke Beers. Jumper no good. Rebound deflected away, taken there by Sicoli. Valencia with it here in front of the LBC student section. Handoff goes to Valencia, tipped away quickly by Shoebridge. Valencia has it. Lost it again, layup no good. Rattles around, taken now by Garner. He walked, and a turnover here on the Bison. Chargers jumped out to an eight-nothing lead over St. Elizabeth the other day on Saturday. I thought that was a big key to the early start there, getting the unbeaten team on its heels a bit. Uh, tonight though, uh, coming up empty here on these first couple possessions, Rod. Uh, the good thing is defensively, they're not giving up a whole lot either, so uh, we'll see if they can get the lead here early. Luke Beers with it here for the Chargers. 2-3 set up by Gaidet once again. Inside for Beachy, down low for Witt. Little hesitation move, layup won't go, but he's fouled, he'll head to the line. That's a key to beating a 2-3 zone if you can get the ball somewhere around the high post and as it collapses, either find on the baseline or maybe kick the ball opposite to a jump shooter. So if we're getting those kind of possessions, I think we'll get some good looks tonight. 
foul is on Jamal Garner. That's his first, the team's first. Witt's going to head to the free throw line. 71% shooter there this season. First one is good. Ugly sweater night tonight in the student section, and uh, some people definitely got the memo. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Is that, a, is that a polar bear over there? What is that? It's a something bear. <laughs> so. Witt knocks them both down. We're tied up at two here. Just about three minutes into the contest. See if they go back to that high ball screen. Handoff there goes to Sicoli, and now Garner. Excuse me, that's number 21, Smith. Back for Sicoli. 10 on the shot clock, looking inside. Met there by, I believe it was Luke Beers there. Nice little open ice hit, but that's a foul in basketball. It's going to be on Isaac Beers for the hit there. Quentin Davis is going to check into the contest for the Chargers. He'll replace Shoebridge. Davis, the Chargers' leading scorer this season. Coming in at 15.8 points per contest. Shooting a hefty almost 70% from the field as well. Uh, doing a great job of getting great shot selection. Sicoli with it here. He'll find Smith getting into the middle. Little layup, no good. Rebound tipped around. Taken now by Beachy. Guy that has got some hops in the interior, man. Two opportunities on tips there that almost went down. Baseline again for Witt. Pressure there. Pass goes across, can't find it. Beers has it there for the Chargers. Around for Witt. He'll drive baseline again. Back out for Luke Beers for Beachy. Pass deflected, taken by Valencia Biscupiak. Four minutes in, tied at just two. Smith with it. He'll drive, layup, no good, rebounded by Davis. It hasn't turned into points yet, but Gallaudet is certainly getting to the rim, and that containing yes. of uh, penetration is going to be important. Luke Beers inside quickly for Davis. He'll turn the corner. Blocked there by Valencia Biscupiak to Witt, though. Back outside for Luke Beers. Three-pointer, Britton Beachy. You betcha! <laughs> timeout called by Lang Survival, a 30-second timeout. Four and a half minutes gone by here. Chargers lead five to two. I want to quickly mention the 11th annual Gifts to Give Hope Fair. It'll be this Saturday at the Lancaster Farm and Home Center from 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Visit with 30 nonprofits that provide life changing benefits to people within our community and around the world. Enjoy local culinary delights, a fair trade marketplace, activities for kids, and an inspiring atmosphere. Again, the 11th annual Gifts to Give Hope Fair this Saturday at the Lancaster Farm and Home Center from 10 to 4. Right before that timeout, actually the previous two possessions, Luke Beers passed up maybe an, a good shot to get a, a maybe a, a more open look. Britain's not going to take a lot of those, but when he takes them, he's pretty accurate. I think the Chargers are going to need Luke Beers to hit a few of those throughout the night as well tonight. Trace Martin and Catrez Holman into the contest for the Bison. Valencia with the ball here for the Bison, now hands off for Smith. Martin with it. And up top now for Holman. Smith again. He'll turn, go to the left, lay up, good. Smith's been at the rim now a couple times, finally gets the layup go. Chargers lead down to one, five to four, five minutes in. Some light pressure put on by the Bison. Chargers get to the Bison side of the court. Beers to Witt, inside for Isaac Beers. Back up top for Witt, around now for Luke Beers, inside for Beachy, all the way around for Isaac Beers, three-pointer, no good. Rebound rattles around, taken now by Valencia Biscupiak. Valencia up the floor. He'll get to the rim, layup won't go. Gallaudet head coach Kevin Kovacs wanting a foul there on Valencia as he drove to the basket. Witt, he'll drive baseline into the corner for Luke Beers. 
off his hands, able to keep it in play to his brother Isaac. 10 on the shot clock. Beachy with it here, down low for Davis. Out into the corner for Isaac Beers, three-pointer. You betcha! And Isaac Beers knocks down the triple. And that's kind of what we were talking about in, in pregame, the inside out when you can get the defense to collapse. There's some great spot-up shooters on the Chargers team. Smith with it here, he'll drive to the baseline. Witt meets him there. Gary Dett working the ball around. Inside now for Valencia Vizcupiak. He lays it in. Nice pass there for Martin. Isaac Beers with it once again for the Chargers. Q with it here at the top. Around for Luke Beers. Three-pointer. You betcha! Luke Beers knocks down the triple, the third of the game for the Chargers. They lead 11 to 6, 13, 15 remaining here in the first half. Yeah, real good sign for the Chargers early, shooting the ball the way they are. Uh, I think this is a team that's going to, on certain nights, exchange twos for threes. Smith knocks down the triple. Nice shot there by number 21, Corey Smith, freshman from Miami, Florida. Oh, that, that's right back at us, though. <laughs> yep. Around here for Isaac Beers. Now Witt inside for Q. Thought about it, now turns it over. Head for Valencia, he'll stop. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound taken there by Luke Beers. And he'll find Beachy. Luke Beers with it here, now finds Alex Witt. He'll look to drive baseline. Gonna be off of his leg and out of play. Jamal Garner will come back in for Gallaudet for the Chargers. Tyler Norris checks in, as does Shoebridge. Valencia calling out the play here for the, for the Bison. Now Martin around for Garner. Smith up top for Valencia. He'll drive, lay up, no good. Rebound taken there by Davis. He'll hand off for Isaac Beers. For Shoebridge, three-pointer. No good. Rebound taken there by number 21, Smith. Valencia around up top here for Holman. He'll reset a bit. 20 on the shot clock. Smith drives baseline. Reverse layup. No good. Rebound taken there by Isaac Beers. Chargers shooting 30%. Gallaudet just 27. Davis with it here. Baseline for Shoebridge off his fingertips and out of play. Number 20, Sean Daniels, sophomore from Lakeland, Florida. Checking in, he'll replace Smith. Daniels has it now, up top for Garner. Handed off for Martin, and now Holman. He'll go to his left, jumper no good. Foul's gonna be called here on the Chargers. Second foul there on Isaac Beers. Brother Luke Beers coming back in. Yeah, he to inbound the ball underneath the basket. They find Garner and now Martin. Valencia, three-pointer. It's good. Gaida with a 12-11 lead. Yeah, Valencia is not bashful with that, although that's a designed out-of-bounds play right there to get him coming off a baseline screen and turn and shoot. Nice shot. Beachy for Luke Beers. Pass is deflected, taken there by Valencia quickly. And now Beers steps out of, out of bounds. Turn over there by LBC. Valencia Biskupiak will come back in. And now Benny Raymond will come in for LBC. He'll replace Luke Beers. It's 
So a little, bit, oh, yeah, a little bit early foul trouble gives uh, freshman Benny Raymond an opportunity to, uh, to earn some minutes here tonight. Garner with it now for Daniels inside for Valencia Biskupiak. Tries something with the right hand and gets it to go. He shakes his head going up the floor. Even he was a little surprised that one went in. Gaidet's lead is three. Raymond up top for Beachy. Shoebridge. Inside for Davis. Into the corner for Beachy. He'll stop and take the jumper. It's good. Beachy has five points. Charges trail by just one, 14-13. We're halfway done here with the first half already. Good defense there by Raymond. Martin with it now. Pass goes inside. Norris picks up the foul. First on Norris, third on the team. a strong possession down there that last possession for the Chargers again if you can get the ball to the high post on that one you got a little kick back out to the perimeter for Beachy's jump shot but uh, getting the ball to the high post is going to be key for them here this evening Alex Witt back in for LBC Sicoli back in for the Bison Daniels looking back outside for Martin Pass deflected away. They're going to call a foul on LBC. I think that's on Witt. Try to get in front of Valencia Biskupiak there and could not in time. I think that's one of those plays, again, we talked early on about not getting him to the free throw line. That's a play where you're probably not going to make the steal. Maybe the best thing, and he's not in a position really to make a move from the post. Allow the catch and just play straight up D. Sicoli. Into the corner for Martin. Little floater, doesn't go. Rebound off the hands of a guy that player and out of play. <laughs> Raymond with it here for the Chargers. Back for Beachy. Inside for Norris, outside for BG, down low for Witt. Layup won't go, foul called on Gaidet. Witt's gonna go back to the free throw line. Good move there by Alex Witt. He took a hard hit there to the floor. Looks like he's okay. Nice pass uh, from the short corner there. Give uh, Witt an opportunity from the free throw line. Fouls on Garner, that's his second. First free throw is no good. Catrez Holman's going to come back in for Garner. And Davis will come back in for the Chargers. He'll replace Norris. Free throw goes for Witt. Knotted up at 14 here, 9.15 remaining in the opening half. Smith with it. He'll take the three-pointer. No good, rebounded by Davis. Beachy with it here for LBC. Around for Raymond, three-pointer. No good. Taken there by Martin. Martin now for Sicoli. Taken by Biskupiak. It's good. Biskupiak right there did a great job of running the floor and sealing the post right in transition. Got very deep. That's tough to defend with a catch that deep in the block. Beachy with it now. Hands off for Raymond. They'll play catch. We're down for Shoebridge. He'll take the three-pointer. No good. Rebound taken there. By number 11, Holman. He'll hand off for Sicoli. Now Martin. Knocked away on the floor. Raymond has it. And he's fouled. Ooh. 
Uh, interesting call there. They called a jump ball, not a foul. I think Gaidette wanted to foul the first part, and then LBC wanted to foul on the second part. And so I guess meeting in the middle of the jump ball is probably not bad. Yeah, lots, lots and lots of uh, contact there. But uh, Chargers will come out with it. Watching the offense down here for the Chargers again, the last couple of possessions, no inside out, just perimeter. The problem with that is the inside defenders are still in positions to rebound. So if you're not going to make that shot, it's tough to get offensive boards by not moving the bigs. Luke Beers checks back in for the Chargers. Shoebridge back for Beachy. Luke Beers again. Luke Beers, three-pointer. You betcha. Beers knocks down his second triple. He's got six points, and the Chargers are back in front, 17-16. Holman around for Martin. Excuse me, Smith. Jumps into Beers. The foul is called. That's actually a tough call right there. I thought I thought Luke did a nice job of sliding his feet. There was a little contact there, but it almost looked like he was he was back stepping to get, create space and uh, kind of got bailed out on that one. Noah Valencia back into the game for Gaudet. Inbounds passes for Sicoli. Smith with it here. Shoebridge right on him. He's going to pick up the foul. That far away from the basket, uh, you know, tough on the foul, but at the same time, that far away, not much going to happen there. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. I mean, you want to you want to contain. You don't want to allow easy passes. Um, well, you certainly don't want to put two hands on on the offensive player either. Brett Beckler going to check into the contest for the first time for LBC. Up top now for Valencia, 15 on the shot clock for the Bison. Beckler right there. For Valencia, Biskupiak tipped away. Over top, Davis has it. For Luke Beers. Around for Beckler. Now Luke Beers, three-pointer. You betcha! Luke Beers, another triple. That's five now for LBC. Three of them off the hands of Luke Beers. Chargers in front, 20 to 16. You know, it's interesting. If you look at the stats for the season, Luke's been struggling a little bit from three. But he's the kind of kid that when he gets hot, he gets hot. And uh, I know I've seen him in the gym quite a bit lately. He's been working on He's ready for a breakout night like this. Sicoli up top for Valencia. Witt's there. Valencia with the left. Layup won't go. Rebound bounces around. Taken by Witt. Odd man rush here for the Chargers. Back for Beckler. Five on four down the floor. Now, oh, Beers thought about it. Witt, baseline, layup, won't go. Rebound taken there by Valencia Biskupiak. Two straight possessions where it's sort of five on four for a few seconds. Chargers haven't taken advantage of that, even though the Beers three came on a five on five, so to speak. Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes you can have a numbers disadvantage, but if you can pack the lane, you can at least get it stalled for the defense to get back. Wide open three pointer for Corey Smith. He'll take that. Chargers lead down to one. Shoebridge with it here. Back for Beckler. Around for Luke Beers. Luke Beers again inside for Witt. Little baby jumper. It's good. Nice shot there by Witt. He's got five points. Chargers, excuse me, back in front by three. Great recognition by, by uh, Luke Beers to recognize how they're coming out on him and be able to find someone in the middle of the lane. Inside for Valencia Biskupiak. Back outside for Smith. Spins. Nothing there. Jumper won't go. Taken by Smith. Excuse me, taken by Davis. Off the jumper by Smith. Beckler now for Luke Beers. A little more attention being paid to him now. Inside for Witt. Outside for Beckler. Around for Beers. Shoebridge. Three-pointer. No good. Rebound flying in there. Trying to get there by Witt. Good hustle off his fingertips, though, and taken by number 21, Smith. Holman, he'll head in. Bumped into there, and the basket.
Foul is on Witt, that's his second. Strong take by Holman right there. Uh, just kind of put his head down, got to the basket, absorbed the contact and finished at the rim. Joe Kennard is gonna check into the contest for Gallaudet, as is number four, Trace Martin. Beachy and Norris back onto the floor. Holman completes the three-point play, and we are tied at 22. Beachy back out for Luke Beers. Now Beckler. Back for Beachy, all the way across for Luke Beers. Three-pointer, bit strong. Rebound bounces around, taken by Holman. And the foul. That's two straight uh, takes like that. I'll tell you, Holman goes hard to the bucket, does a great job of keeping balance, absorbing contact, and being able to finish. Two straight uh, three-point play possibilities here. Davis and Raymond back into the contest for the Chargers. Holman will look to complete his second straight three-point play. Free throw goes, and with four or three remaining, Gallaudet is in front, 25-22. Peachy calls out the play for the Chargers. Raymond with it here. Up top for Beckler. Back to Raymond, three-pointer. You betcha! Raymond knocks down his first bucket. We're not enough at 25. 340 remaining here in the first half. Martin, three-pointer. No good. Rebounded by Davis. Head coach Andrew Wingreen calling out the play to Beachy. Up the floor he comes for the Chargers. Raymond again. Baseline for Norris. Up and under. Blocked. Out of play. It's going to stay with LBC. That was, sec that was Benny Raymond's second field goal attempt. That one looked much more in rhythm than the first one. I pray that's a confidence builder for, uh, for zero. He can shoot. Inbounds pass for Norris, little hesitation, layup won't go, he's fouled. That was gonna be on number 21, Smith. That's his first. Norris will head to the free throw line, he's eight of 10 there this season. First free throw, no good. Chargers have struggled from the free throw line all season long. Three of five there this evening. Close games is when that's gonna kinda show up and, uh, and kinda bite you if you don't get that fixed. Knocks down the second one. Chargers retake the lead, 26-25. Smith with it. Offensive foul called. Coming at number 42, Kennard, that's his first. Beckler will inbound right to our left. Just over three to play here in the opening half. Chargers in front by one. Davis with it here. Up top for Raymond. Davis. Traveling is the call. Yeah, just caught a little out of rhythm right there and uh, took the extra step. Holman with it. He'll work into the middle. Little baby jumper rattles around and good. Holman's got eight points on three of four shooting. Gaidet back in front by one, 27-26. Ahead quickly for Beachy, inside for Norris. Down low for Davis, no shot there. Foul is going to be called. I believe that's going to be on Kennard. It is, it's his second. 
Char Chargers showed a little 2-3 zone in that last possession. Guy that did a nice job of getting to Holman at the high post, and he's a great scorer. He's a good scorer inside for sure, a little floater. Noah Valencia and Valencia Biscupiak back in. Davis here outside for Beachy. 15 on the shot clock for the Chargers. Beachy will turn the corner, looking inside for Davis. Tipped away, up and over the mezzanine. Off the hands of Valencia Biscupiak. Still, still nine on the shot clock here for the Chargers. Pass goes in for Raymond. Raymond takes the shot. It's good. It's a two, but a big two as the Chargers retake the lead, 28-27. Yeah, Benny Raymond uh, plays with a lot of confidence when he gets going. He's fun to watch play. Uh, that was a big bucket as the shot clock was winding down. Looking inside, nothing there. Martin with it now. He's going to be fouled by Beachy. Martin's going to head to the free throw line for the one and one. Nine team foul on LBC. I believe Raymond played well in a uh, developmental game just a few nights ago, if I heard correctly. Uh, got hot hit a couple of big buckets yeah and I'm not so sure that that wasn't a catalyst for him to kind of gain a little confidence to get into tonight looks like he's having fun playing and uh, when you play relaxed uh, you play well free throw no good rebound taken there by Davis Davis with seven rebounds already for the Chargers no points though for the senior Raymond again Back for Beachy. All the way across for Shoebridge. Shoebridge looking for Beachy, caught the fastball. Beachy will stop and take the jumper. It's good. Not sure. I'm thinking he might be three for three from the field uh, tonight. He does a nice job of selecting when he's going to shoot the basketball. Minute and some change left here in the first half. Three pointer there from Smith. No good. Rebound. We'll go to the Chargers. 106 to play here. It's actually been really entertaining watching uh, Davis and Valencia Biscubiak on the on the block. They're they're playing hard. It's a lot of action underneath. All the way around for Raymond. Back for Beachy as head coach Andrew Wingreen right in front of us. Norris has it, loses it. Raymond off his leg and out of play. Good defensive possession there for Gaudet. Eight, eight turnovers for the Chargers here in the first half. Daniels with it, into the block there for Valencia Biscubiak, picked off by Shoebridge. Shoebridge goes down, lays it up and in. Chargers now lead by five, shot clock is off. See if Valencia and the Bison want to hold for the last shot. That looks like the plan. Daniels now, back out. Smith with it now. Five to go, Smith goes in for the little layup, no good, Davis has it. Ahead for Norris, that's not gonna go. So head to the half, Lancaster Bible leads 32-27. We'll come back to you just prior to the start of the second half, bring you some stats from the first half as well as a little, couple of things to look for for the second half. Chargers in front by five. We'll be back in just a few moments here on the Chargers Sports Network.
Back here at Lancaster Bible College, Chargers leading Gaidet 32-27 at the break. In that first half, Gaidet shot 11 of 30 from the field, three of nine from beyond the arc. Leading the way, eight points for Valencia Biscupiak, eight points for Corey Smith, and eight points for Catrez Coleman. Noah Valencia, the team's leading scorer, just three points on one of seven shooting. For the Chargers, they shot 46%, 11 of 24, six of 14 from beyond the arc, and four of six from the free throw line. Nine points for Luke Beers, who has three of the team's six three-pointers. Seven points for Britton Beachy on three of three shooting. Chargers out-rebounding the Bison 17-12 as well, though Gaidet has 16 points in the paint. Rod, what's the next 20 minutes look like? Uh, well, if it's anything like the first 20, I think we're going to be in for a uh, uh, an exciting ending to tonight's game. We should be in it uh, all the way till the end. Um, hoping Luke Beers can stay hot. I think he can. I think you're going to see a little more from uh, Quentin Davis. I think he contributed in the first half, certainly on the glass, keeping the big fellow off, Valencia, uh, Biskubiak. Um, but I think you're going to see him uh, needing to score a little bit for the charge to be successful in the second half. Davis, no points in that first half, but did have eight rebounds and three assists. So, uh, like you said, Rod, contribution, but uh, I think the maybe more uh, normal kind of contribution he provides here in the second 20 minutes if the Chargers are going to come away with their third straight MIAC victory. Well, the Gallaudet defense, too, they're sitting in a 2-3. Um, they're kind of packing in a little bit, uh, so Quinton's going to have some uh, some looks, maybe at the high post if he can get there, turn and face. He's got a nice little jump shot there. Uh, maybe he could turn that into some offense for uh, for the Chargers. little change here for LBC as Davis is going to start the second half in favor of Isaac Beers. Gaudet will start with the ball, and we are underway here in the second half from Horst Athletic Center. Off the legs of Valencia Biskupiak and out of play. Chargers ball. Fortunate again, that started about the same way the first half did with that high ball screen and, uh, and find a little mismatch on the block. Witt has it here, now for Beachy. Shoebridge, three-pointer, you betcha! Shoebridge knocks down the triple. Chargers in front by eight. That's a big shot for Shoebridge. He can shoot it. Been struggling a little bit as of late. Maybe that can get him started. Valencia here, he'll spin, take the jumper, no good. Saved by Viscupiak. Oh, no, but it's going to be out of play on Valencia Viscupiak. Dangerous couple minutes right here if you're Gallaudet. Uh, seems like a little bit of a momentum uh, swing if the Chargers can extend this a little bit. Does seem it's a little different pressure defense here too. Maybe looking for some traps. Witt here right in front of us. Now Beachy. Round for Shoebridge. He'll take it again. You betcha! Another three-pointer for Shoebridge. Eight now for LBC. The lead is 11. Red Sea likes all of it thus far in the second half. Sicoli. Shoebridge right there on him. Handoff is for Valencia. Smith looking inside. Little lefty layup. Good. Nice layup there from Corey Smith. Looks like they're back to the 2 2 1. Not really looking to trap out of this. Luke Beers gets it back for BG. Shearbridge. Up top for Luke Beers and now Beachy once again. Shearbridge for Luke Beers. Little jumper. Good. Three for three. The Chargers here in the second half. Lead goes back to 11, 40 to 29. That's a beautiful in rhythm jump shot. Little ball fake. One bounce on the floor and pull up. Looked really smooth. Valencia. Foul called here on the Chargers. It's going to be on Davis underneath the basket. That'll be his first. Coach Kovacs uh, looking to kind of let him play through this uh, this spurt right here. We'll see how that turns out. Sicoli with it. Up top for Valencia. 
He'll drive, righty layup, no good. Rebound bounced around. It's gonna be on Witt. It's Witt's third foul. Norris is gonna come in for him. One four low set out of bounds right here. Maybe looking for a handoff. Ball and goes inside. And we have offensive foul. It's gonna be on Biscupiak. I mentioned that play at the post a little earlier. That's a, a good example of that. Uh, Valencio Biscupiak gets called for a little hook on the block. Luke Beers bumped into a little bit there. Turnover. Into the corner it goes. Valencia three-pointer. No good. Rebound off the hands of an LBC player and out of play. Valencia normally a pretty good three-point shooter. Struggling here tonight. Sometimes away from home, uh, you find yourself struggling a little bit. Back out for Valencia, inside for Biskupiak. Jumper is good, and the foul. It's on Davis, that'll be his second. The, the shots from Valencia, Biskupiak, don't look conventional at times, but he does have nice touch. He puts it up soft on the rim, Gives it a chance to fall, and in that case, it did earn himself a free throw to boot. No good there on the foul, on the free throw, excuse me. Davis pressured there. Here we get through a double team there, knocked out of his hands. Sicoli with it. Now Smith, back to Sicoli, three-pointer, no good. Rebound knocked around, taken by Davis. Norris ahead for Beachy. Shoebridge on the wing. This way for Luke Beers, three-pointer. In and out, rebound taken there by Garner, but he throws it the length of the floor and out of bounds. Wild turn of events. Some right sloppy there. play, Rod, the last couple of <laughs> minutes here, maybe two minutes or so. Uh, uh, yeah. Chargers can't do much, and a uh, good hustle play there by Garner, but uh, incomplete pass down there in the end zone. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Shoebridge, this way for Beachy right in front of us. Shoebridge, three-pointer. You betcha! Thir third three-pointer of the half for Shoebridge. Chargers lead by 12. Timeout called by the Bison. They want to talk it over. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. Now they're going to change it to a full timeout. We'll take it with them. Chargers now lead 43-31. We'll be right back on the Chargers Sports Network.
Back here at Horse Athletic Center. Full timeout taken there by Guy Udette. Isaac Beers is checked into the contest for the Chargers. Uh, just before the break there, Jordan Shoebridge hits his third three of the half after going 0 for 5 in the first. We were talking at break there, like sometimes it's nice to have a short memory. And uh, we got some streaky shooters, but when they get going, they Turn get going. There. Beers goes in, layup, good. Luke Beers has a team high 13 points and a game high 13 points. Chargers are front by 14. Nice job of using his body there to draw some contact and finish Deep the rim. Three pointer is good mm. from Trace Martin. That was from Ephrata. <laughs> At least Brownstown. I don't even know if that's further or shorter, really. <laughs> shorter. <laughs> I like nice geography from the new guy. All right. Into the middle goes Beers, drives around, it's on the floor. Timeout called by the Bison. After the turnover there by LBC, it's a 30-second timeout. We'll stay here. want to remind you about tomorrow morning's Horse With No Name podcast. The guest will be my brother, Mike Freeman, as myself and Tyler Greenlee host our weekly podcast. My brother, Mike, is the Sports Information Director at Lebanon Valley, so we'll talk to him about the sports information profession as well as some other things, uh, maybe, the maybe our childhood, Rod. I don't know yet. Um, yeah. But certainly him being a Division Three athlete and then transitioning into the working world over the past few years. So join us tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock here on the Chargers Sports Network for the Horse with No Name podcast. If you can't join us tomorrow morning, you can find us on iTunes and Spotify. Again, the Horse with No Name podcast. I'm actually so excited about that. I might clock out of work just to <laughs> listen to it live. There you go. And uh, have a, a glimpse into a Freeman family reunion. Oh, that, that sounds terrible. No, all right, could be, could be. Valencia will come up the floor here for Gaidet. They trail by 11. Looks like Chargers show a little 1-3-1 in the half court here. Extended it a little bit. Make Smith just able to keep that in. Sorry, Rod. Out of Holman's hands on the floor. Shoebridge has it to Davis. Able to save it. Knocked out of Davis' hands. It's going to stay with LBC. Pretty fortunate right there. There is a reason why most coaches are screaming on the sidelines when their big is dribbling up the court. <laughs> There's some other people that, uh, that maybe have done it a little more frequently, but uh, we, we escaped that one. Shoebridge, heat check. You betcha! Fourth three-pointer. Of the half, the Chargers lead by 14. Give it to him everywhere. Off Martin's foot, ooh, foul called. Foul's gonna be on Beers, that's his third. Rod Feaster famine on the offensive side for LBC here in the second half. Three pointers or turnovers thus far. Yeah, it looks like Thanksgiving right now though. We're, uh, we're hitting, it's a feast. Martin with it here, Valencia. For Valencia Biskupiak, back for Valencia. Now Martin. Smith with it here, he'll drive baseline, up and under, no good. Rebound taken by Beachy. Beachy again. This way for Luke Beers. Handoff is for Shoebridge, thought about it. Good idea there by Shoebridge not to put anything crazy up. Certainly hot, but not with three guys there. <laughs> Davis takes his time. Little stutter step move into the basket. Layup won't go. Everything but the basket. Valencia in to the off the glass and good. Little swing there. Chargers looking at an easy bucket to go up 14, excuse me, up, go up 16, now just 12 after the basket from Valencia. Just his fifth point of the contest, however. Offensive foul called there on Davis. That's his third. Now, I was not right in front of that as the official was, but it appeared to me that he set the initial screen. Luke Beers came in behind and he just turned to rescreen. I didn't think he drew the contact. I thought that was a nice rescreen. 
So Witt will replace Davis. Garner's going to head off as well as Holman comes back in for the Bison. Lency into the corner for Holman. It's going to go off of Shoebridge and out of play. Back for Valencia, three-pointer. It's good. Yeah, I'm sitting right here and I, on that out-of-bounds play. I'm listening to Coach Wing Green call an out shooter, and we just got kind of caught in. Uh, but Coach certainly knew what was going on with that out-of-bounds play. Back out here for Beachy. Back for Witt. He'll look to go to the basket. Basket's no good, but a foul's going to be called on the Bison. It's number one, Steve Valencia Biscupiak. That's his second. Shoebridge, three-pointer. You betcha! Another three-pointer from Shoebridge. That's five this half. That's crazy. I, I looked at the expression on uh, on Coach Kovac's face, and uh, I can understand it. Uh, what, do you, what do you do? What do you do? Quickly ahead come the Chargers. Beers lays it up, and good. Nice pass from number 11, Beachy. Timeout, Bison. Chargers lead by 14. It's going to be a full timeout. We'll take one with them. 12 19 to play. Lancaster Bible 53, Guyed at 39. We'll be right back on the Chargers Sports Network. Back here at Horst Athletic Center, charges in front, 53-39, 12-19 to play. That was a great play by uh, young Isaac Beers on that last one to catch it, remain balanced. Picked off by step Shoebridge there. Quickly ahead for Isaac Beers again, lays it in for two. Looking now for LBC, they lead by 16. Smith breaks the trap there. Valencia, now for Valencia Biskupiak. Outside for Martin. He'll take the jumper. No good. Rebound's going to go to the Chargers, and a foul is going to be called on Valencia Biskupiak. That's his third. Third team foul. I think one of the big differences here in the second half is the defensive intensity by the Chargers seems to have picked up. There's no easy shots for uh, Gal Udet right now. Back for Shoebridge off his hands. Good job saving that. Right to Valencia, however. Turnaround three-pointer there by Smith. No good. Rebound taken by Witt. He'll come up the floor with it. And now handoff for Beachy. 11-20 to play here in the second half. Chargers in front by 16. 11 three-pointers for LBC tonight. Inside for Witt. 
Plenty of room, lays it in for two. You gamble on the block sometimes, and uh, if you miss, it's a layup. That's what happened there. Martin with it now. Back for Smith. Now Valencia, all the way across for Holman. Smith thought about it. Next nice little jumper in the lane, no good. Rebounded by Valencia, but Skupiak and put in. Right now they're earning every basket they make, though. Uh, the, the defensive intensity is strong. Valencia is Kupiak with a team high 12 points on six of seven shooting. Also has four rebounds. Luke Beers with it here. A handoff for brother Isaac. This way for Alex Witt. Now into the corner for Beachy. He'll drive baseline. Layup. No good. Up the floor quickly for Smith. Layup. No good. Good hustle play back by Shoebridge. I'm going to call it travel here on Beachy. Timeout called here by the Chargers. It's a 30 second timeout. We'll stay here. I want to mention again for the 11th annual Gifts to Give Hope Fair. It'll be this Saturday at the Lancaster Farm and Home Center from 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Visit with 39 profits that provide life changing benefits to people within our community and around the world. Enjoy local culinary delights, a fair trade marketplace. Activities for kids and an inspiring atmosphere. Again, the 11th annual Gifts That Give Hope Fair this Saturday at the Lancaster Farm and Home Center from 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Also join us here this Saturday after you've gone to the fair, Rod, uh, for the 1 o'clock women's basketball game against York. And then the men will play Centenary at 3 o'clock. Both games here at the Hack. Expecting a big crowd on uh, Saturday. I'm sure there's uh, no students that are going to be studying for finals, so we should be packed here, right? I agree with that completely. <laughs> I wouldn't be setting the final. There's basketball. Good. It's been a nice second half here for the Chargers. And just going back to reiterate, I, I think defensively, Coach has done a nice job tonight, too, I think, of mixing up the Ds. We've seen some man. We've seen some 2-3. We've seen some 1-3-1 uh, one, one with some traps. Um, and, the, and the players seem to to have really um, responded to that. Chargers shooting 57% from the floor, 55% from three-point range, they're 11 of 20. Gaidet, 37%, 17 of 46, and just 36% from three-point range. 41. If Zach Freeman says it's 41, I'm, I'm going <laughs> with 41. Uh, not all the time. Some of the, most of the time. <laughs> Next to my wife, I'm trusting everything you said. <laughs> Valencia here with the ball. Off of Luke Beers and out of play. Valencia Biskupiak, he'll turn, layup is good. Skupiak has 14 points, seven of eight from the floor. He does a really nice job of sealing low. I mean, he hits hard, drives the defender back, and uh, gets really low, deep post entries. It's tough to defend. Isaac Beers with it now, he'll turn the corner, take the jumper, good. I'm not the analyst or anything, Rod. I'm just the guy who does play-by-play, -play, but I'm surprised they don't give it to him every time down the floor. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Martin with it, three-pointer. No good, rebound taken by Beachy. It's a foul by Valencia. That's his first, team's fourth. Coach Wingreen's getting some real steady play from some freshmen tonight. Uh, Jordan's looked really good in the second half. Isaac just looks poised uh, out there for as young as he is. Isaac and Luke Beers on the floor here for LBC playing catch. Now Beachy for Shoebridge. He'll turn the corner underneath for Witt. He's fouled going up. Back to the line goes Alex Witt. Fouls on number 11. Holman, that's his first. Nice patience there by Alex to uh, Alex Witt to, to kind of gather the ball, 
Give a little ball fake, get him up in the air, and then attack the rim. Earns him two at the line. With three or four from the line tonight. Make it four or five. Daniels back into the contest. Second one goes as well. Witt has nine points. Chargers lead by 18 once again. Looks like they're back in the 2-3. Jumper no good. Rebound taken there by Shoebridge. He'll hand off for Beachy. Witt back around for Isaac Pierce. Back to Witt on the baseline. So no one in particular on the far side out of play. I was curious whether the polar bear could shoot or not. I was hoping he'd catch that. Actually, I've seen CJ shoot it. Probably <laughs> was better. It went out of bounds. <laughs> I was waiting for it. It was good. In there for Smith. Jumper with the left hand, no good. Rebound, tipped around, taken by Joey Parsons, who just checked in. Off of his heel, taken out by Valencia. Three-pointer in and out. Rebound taken by Biskupiak. Foul's gonna be called. It's gonna be on Luke Beers. Sixth team foul for the Chargers, 8-17 to play. Noah Valencia comes in. Averaging close to 20 a game, just really struggling from the field tonight. Back out here for Valencia. Down low for Valencia, but Skupiak lays it in. Nice pass by Noah Valencia. Yeah, give him credit. He's doing some other things for the team. Even though he's not shooting the ball well, he's still playing hard defensively and finding an open uh, player under the bucket there. Beachy now for Luke Beers. Jumper by Luke Beers in the paint. Rattles around, no good. Rebound taken there by Trace Martin. Numbers for the Bison. Back out for Daniels. Three pointer. In and out. Rebound goes off of Parsons. It'll stay with the Bison. Back into the Chargers. Number three, Alex Valencia, three-pointer, no good. Rebound taken there by Luke Beers. Isaac Beers with it now. He'll call out the play for the Chargers. Traveling is called there. 16 turnovers for the Chargers tonight. Hasn't hurt them too badly. Valencia will come up the floor for the Bison. Daniels now thought about a shot. Back for Valencia, around for Martin. He'll take the three-pointer. In and out. Rebound taken there by number 21, Smith, who lays it in. Full timeout called by Guy Dett. We'll take a timeout with him. Chargers in front, 61-47, 6.56 to play. We'll be right back on the Chargers Sports Network.
back here at Horse Athletic Center. Charge in front 61-47 as we are serenaded by Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas by the student section. I was, I was actually kind of impressed, man. We got some good voices over there. I didn't know if this was a worship performing arts event <laughs> or a basketball game. Sounded good. We're getting best of both worlds tonight. Inbound pass goes to Davis. Over the head of Isaac Beers, taken by Martin. Gaida trails by 14. Valencia with it here. 15 on the shot clock. Smith goes baseline and the foul. Fouls on Shoebridge, that's his second. 17 foul for LBC here in the second half. It's going to get interesting here. This is a this kind of key moment. You know, can the Chargers kind of withstand? They come out of the timeout, they get a turnover, go right to the rim, get an and one. Davis has it now for Beachy. Chargers just don't seem like they're out of the woods yet. Up by 11 here, but uh, a Noah Valencia streak of threes away from it being a much closer game. Yeah, that 11 is interesting in a game about with this much time left, because if you get another bucket, put it to single digits, all of a sudden there's a little tension. Davis out for Witt. He'll drive, looking back underneath, blocked and taken. Out of play. It's going to say when off of an LBC player, it stays with the Bison. Luke Beers will check back into the contest. Pass goes in for Valencia. Now Valencia with Skupiak and hand it right back. Smith with it. 12 on the shot clock, around for Martin. Daniels looking down low for Skupiak. Jumper, no good. Rebound taken there by Isaac Beers. Good play inside by Witt. There's been a couple plays tonight with Luke Beers having a guard inside the big. And he just gets a hand on the ball. Three-pointer, uh, excuse me, Isaac Beers, no good. Rebound taken there by Valencia Vescupiak. Bumped into by Shoebridge. And there's going to be a foul called, I believe. It's going to go on Shoebridge. I'm not sure that Jordan Shoebridge pushes down Steve Valencia Vescupiak too many times. I actually think Jordan was just in the wrong place at the wrong time right there. That's a tough call. So now the one and one coming for Valencia Biskupiak. O of one at the line, came in as a 46% free throw shooter. First free throw is good. Head coach Kevin Kovacs giving that one a little, a little English from the sidelines as well. <laughs> he makes this free throw. Uh, I think we'll probably see a little pressure from Gallaudet. It could get interesting. Misses it, taken by Witt. They'll find Beachy. Charges in front by 10, 5.20 to play. Beachy looking inside for Witt. Too strong out of play. So be an interesting time. You see a little frustration on the Chargers' faces. Uh, can they kind of settle in, play a solid pass? Guess picked off by Luke Beers. Taken from him and a foul call by Valencia. Beachy and Witt still discussing the last play. I don't mean to laugh, it's just sort of funny to watch them talk about it. Now, I, I think I know what, what Britton's saying, but I have to tell you, I, I felt he overthrew that. You're gonna wait to release, but I think he waited well. 
and the ball was all over, like was well beyond him. To I'm catch just it, enjoying the conversation. I think it's great, though. That, I mean, it's a little funny, but I think it's great that they're still talking about it Absolutely. and they want to get it right. Yeah. I think that's the big thing with Witt and Beachy. And here's a pass from Beachy to Witt. And now they're going to call it travel. So a little out of sequence offensively. This is a time in a game with five minutes to go where you just say, listen, we're going to win this with defense and rebounding and, uh, and, and sure this thing up. Back to the 1-3-1. Martin there all the way across this way for Valencia. Now Smith in for Daniels. Layup good. Nice pass there by Daniels to Smith. Maybe a timeout here. There's Daniels on the bucket, Smith on the assist, my apologies. Witt still with it, now he'll find Beachy. Four and a half to play, Chargers in front by eight. Picked off by Valencia Biscupiak. To Daniels, lays it in for two. Head coach Andrew Wingreen wants a timeout. Now a foul called on Valencia. 4.15 to play. So it'll be a one and one now for the Chargers the rest of the way. So Beachy at the free throw line. He was 12 of 17 there on Saturday. This is his first free throws of the evening, or at least his first one. Doesn't make it. Big one for the Chargers. Their lead is just six. For Valencia, three pointer, no good. Rebound taken by Shoebridge, and he's fouled. Guy that wants a jump ball, no way. Shoebridge had that the whole time. Foul's gonna be on 20, Daniels. Timeout called by the Chargers. It's a full timeout, we'll take one with him. Chargers in front just by six, 61-55. 4.03 remaining, we'll be right back on the Chargers Sports Network. Back here in Lancaster, Chargers in front by six, 61-55. Going back to the free throw line after the foul, it'll be a one and one here for LBC. Shoebridge will be at the line. His first free throws of the evening. And so our listeners know Zach Freeman could do both the the play-by-play -play and the color commentator. He mentioned some of the offense. Uh, not getting the same looks that they had in that stretch where they stretched the lead. Jordan Shoebridge not, not getting open looks, Luke Beers, and um, I thought that was a great observation. Second free throw good as well. So Chargers get some points. First time in a few minutes. Their lead is eight. Four minutes to play. Smith with it. Back for Valencia. All the way across for Martin. Back for Smith, little jumper, no good. Rebound taken by Beachy. Beachy does a lot of the little things, man, that coaches love. That's an outstanding rebound on the weak side from the wing position. Seven points, six boards, six assists tonight. 
into the corner. Luke Beers, three-pointer, in and out. Rebound taken by Valencia Biskupiak. Smith for Martin, deep three-pointer, no good. Rebounded by Shoebridge. He finds Beachy. 3.15 to play here in the second half. Chargers lead is eight. Luke Beers with it. The handoff for his brother Isaac. Back for Luke Beers. Thought about a three. Now he'll take the jumper. It's good. Goes back to that fast. Shooting is a rhythm. And when you can get a ball fake, a one drill big, he's done that thousands of times in the gym. Smith with it now. Into the corner it goes. Three-pointer. No good. Rebounded by Beachy. Quickly up the floor for Luke Beers. He's ahead of everybody. Goes in, lays it in for two. 2.34 to play. Chargers back in front by 12. Big sequence of events here for LBC. Smith into it. Jumper, no good. Rebound by Smith. Foul's going to be called. It's going to be on Beachy. That's his second. Smith will go to the free throw line here for the Bison. Actually, it's going to be Valencia Biskupiak. It's good fortune for the Chargers as uh, he comes in as a 46% free throw shooter. And Smith's a 75% shooter. Davis is going to check back in for the Chargers. Now, I know Quinton is a little frustrated with his offensive performance today. I thought he did some things well, but I think this is good for a young team to see that they can win when he doesn't have his best night. First free throw is good. Second free throw is up, and rattles around and goes down. So, Valencia Biskubiak, three of five from the charity stripe tonight. Press put on here by Guy Deck, goes into Davis. He'll turn the corner, and he's fouled. Head coach Kevin Govax can't believe it. He's the whole way out on the floor. Fourth foul on Valencia Biskupiak. Against that press, I will say this. We've got to be careful where we catch that ball. That pressure, once that ball caught below the block as wide as possible, that's a dangerous spot to catch. Fortunately, we gets out of it with a foul. Davis at the free throw line here. Bounces up in the air, bounces around, no good. Rebounded there by freshman Isaac Beers. All the way out for Shoebridge. Back for Davis. And this way for Beachy. It's a big play from Isaac Beers to keep that ball alive and on this end of the floor. Still Beachy with it. Isaac Beers back for Beachy. He'll stop, take the jumper. It's good. Britton Beachy puts the Chargers back up by 12. Under two to play. Beachy playing with a lot of confidence right no. now. No! Excuse me. Foul called there on the Chargers. Fouls on Luke Beers, that's his fourth. So going to the line for two will be Smith. Smith is one of one from the line tonight. First free throw is no good. Chargers lead by 12, 148 to play. Luke Beers with four fouls for the Chargers, four on Steve Valencia Biskupiak for Gaidet. Expecting some pressure here if this goes in. No good, rebounded by Davis. Shoebridge has it now for the Chargers. To Luke Beers, 20 on the shot clock. Around for Beachy. 
Now for Shoebridge, three-pointer, no good. Rebound taken by Luke Beers, and he calls timeout. Oh, they're gonna say he was on the end line, and a turnover. Great hustle by Luke. I'm sure Coach Wink, he's over here wondering why we took that three-point shot in a situation like this. Uh, again, some youth, but you have to understand time and situation. Uh, that'll be a learning point for, uh, for Jordan here after the game. Daniels has it now for Smith. He'll drive baseline. Offensive foul called on Gallaudet. It's going to be on Smith. Timeout call here by Gallaudet. It's a 30 second timeout. We'll stay here. 118 to play. Chargers are front by 12. Again, LBC will be home on Saturday. They host Centenary. It's going to be a full timeout now by Gallaudet. We'll still stay here. So the Chargers are home on Saturday. They'll host Centenary. That will be followed by their final home game of the first semester as they host Dickinson on December 13th. That's a Thursday. That'll be a 7 o'clock contest. So, Rob, we talked about what the LBC women need to do uh, over Christmas break, looking at a no one 3 record in conference play. What about the LBC men? They're going to most likely, with 118 to play, up by 12, look, be looking at a 3-0 and record over Christmas break. What do you do to manage that over the last two non-conference games and then take that break and head back in at the end, uh, start of January? Yeah, feeling pretty good right now, uh, obviously, with, uh, with three straight. What I, what I like about the team and the trajectory is you've got some young players that are getting more and more experience uh, and uh, and demonstrating some poise. Uh, I, I really believe, though, uh, Britton Beachy is is uh, kind of the engine right here, right now, playing with a lot of confidence. I'd say you, you want to now, at this point in the season, you've experienced some success, but you've probably in practice gone like a mile long but an inch deep with a lot of your sets. So now you're going to begin to build depth in those things. I'm sure that's what Coach is going to be working on here in the next couple weeks. And they'll just continue to get better and better at the execution of the games. A lot of turnovers tonight. I'm sure they're not going to be real happy with that. And maybe that's a way to get better at, uh, in that category. They'll play, uh, what is it, four non-conference games where they jump back into conference play. I have to think in those non-conference games, they just want to get minutes and reps for those young, young kids. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, it's, they've got some good young players mixed with some, some veteran players. Uh, it's, it's a nice mix. BG has it here. 115 to play. Daniels on him. Able to break out all of it. Dives at the last second. Gets it to Shoebridge. Shoebridge is going to be foul with 106 to play. Now, it's interesting. I, you know, they want the... Fouls on number one, Valencia Biscubiak. Sorry to interrupt yeah. there, Rod. No worries. So, you know, the coach really wants a traveling violation on that. You see that a lot, but I don't think many people really understand the rule on a travel. He could actually slide from one side of the floor to the other as long as he doesn't turn. So that was a great play uh, by Beachy. I thought to stay on the ground and make the pass, uh, I thought that was a good no call in that situation. So Guy that's going to bring in the subs here. John Warner Jr. is going to check in for the first time. Shoebridge is at the free throw line for the Chargers. First one no good, second one coming up. Second free throw is good. 20 points now for Jordan Shoebridge. One minute to play here at Horse Athletic Center. I like the use of the 1-3-1 just as a, as a time management tool. Takes Warner's a little gonna longer drive. to get at it. Layup is good. Nice move there by John Warner Jr. Charges in front by 11. Witt still with it. Passes out of bounds, looking for Isaac Beers. Beckler's going to check in for LBC. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's where you want your big, I think, just to uh, two foot jump stop. If you need to, you can hand it off to a guard, but tough to make plays. Into the corner, now back out for Warner. All the way out for Scully. Scully back out for Warner, junior, jumper, no good. Rebound goes out of play. The LBC ball with 22.3 seconds remaining. Beachy will inbound for Shoebridge. Back for Beachy. Shot clock is off. Chargers need to get it over the line. Isaac Beers has it. Loses it momentarily. Now it loses it. Daniels in. Layup. Good. 5.2 seconds to play. Back for Shoebridge. We're down for Luke Beers, and the Chargers are going to come away with a 70 to 61 victory. Thank you, Survival and Bruce, a four and three overall, three straight wins. They're now three and zero in NEAC play. Gaidet falls to one and seven overall and one and two in conference play. Gaidet shot 37 percent from the field, 25 of 68, 23 percent from beyond the arc. Beating the way for Gaidet. 19 points for Steve Valencia Biskupiak. He also added seven rebounds and an assist. For the Chargers, they shot 56%, 25 of 45 from the floor, 48% from three-point range, and they were even 64% from the free throw line. Leading the way for LBC, Jordan Shoebridge, 20 points, five three-pointers, all of them coming in the second half, 17 points for Luke Beers, seven of 12 from the field, nine points apiece for Isaac Beers and Britton Beachy. Beachy adding seven rebounds and seven assists as well for the Chargers. We'll catch Andrew Winger in here after the prayer. Rod, any final thoughts here on the men's game as they come away with a 70-61 to 61 victory? Yeah, so pretty tight game in the first half. I thought uh, early in the second half they used great shooting to stretch the lead. But I'll tell you, I like the defensive intensity in the second half, too, to hold the lead. And uh, they mixed it up a little bit, but um, I thought overall really nice performance and effort from the Chargers tonight. So, again, we'll wait for a second here and grab Coach Wingreen. Joined here by head coach Andrew Wingreen, also by Rod Bachman. Andrew, uh, three straight wins, all in conference, 3-0 and now, looking at the NEAC standings for the rest of uh, Christmas break. What does it mean for LBC to jump out to that lead there and then kind of have that big run early in the second half? Yeah, I mean, obviously being 3-0 and in conference feels really good, but um, really kind of disappointed how we played that game. I thought we, we had talked about playing up to a standard, um, a standard of excellence that we set a bar for, and I didn't feel like we matched that with energy, with execution, so I mean, Getting a win is great, like winning ugly is better than losing, but um, we have a long ways to go. What will you do now? We have four non-conference games until the next conference game in early January. What are you looking for from the team, maybe from individuals, the coaching staff, over these next four non-conference games, especially the next two heading into Christmas break? Yeah, we, we need to get better. Um, I think when we're not hitting shots and when we're not executing on offense, like we get really stagnant, and it shows on the defensive end. We don't, we don't bring energy and things like that, so... You know, we got to use these next four games to kind of fix that and get ready for uh, to make a run in the NEAC. But right now, um, we just we're not consistent enough. So I'm I'm happy we gutted it out. I'm happy we went on a big run to start the second half. But um, we got we got some practicing to do and, and a lot of work. Great, thanks, coach. Appreciate it. So again, this is Zach Freeman joined by Rod Bachman and uh, Chargers take this one 70 to 61. Again, they improved to four and three overall and a perfect three and zero NEAC play. Rod, any final thoughts? Uh, just again, I, I thought uh, they played in spurts tonight. I hear what coach is saying, and that's what you say as a coach. Uh, you want to make sure that the team stays hungry. I thought there were spurts tonight where they really did uh, execute and have great effort on the defensive end of the floor at times. And I think if they can do that and they catch nights that they shoot like this, they'll, they'll, be, uh, they'll be all right. Great. So again, uh, Chargers win the men's game 70-61 after dropping the women's game 89-67.
We'll be uh, back here on uh, the Chargers Sports Network on Saturday. Chargers will host York College in women's basketball action, followed by a men's game with Centenary. You can join us tomorrow morning on the Horse No Name podcast at 9 o'clock. And then if you can't make it then, you can download that on iTunes and Spotify. Chargers win the men's game 7061. Thank you for joining tonight on the Chargers Sports Network. For Rod Bachman, all the student workers, I'm Zach Freeman. Go Chargers, go.